Ajay is asking, can we establish control on my, on mind? Yes, but you should remember that there is no we. Never use the word we in spiritual matters. It is okay to use it as a group for informal conversation. Like we are meeting here in the satsang. It's okay, but when we, you dive into the spiritual language, it should be accurate. So you should ask whether I can establish the control on mind. I. And if you know there is no I, there is no one who can have a control on the mind. But still the control is possible. Where the mind controls itself. It is already doing that. All the layers of the mind are self-controlling mechanisms. So the control is already there. It is natural control. For example, the layer of the body. When you are hungry, the, there is automatic control that it will go for food. It will eat the food. When the stomach is full, there is automatic signal that stop eating now. These are control mechanisms. Why do I always tell you about the body and food? Because I was accused of that. <laughs> I always talk about the body and food. Because most of the people know only this much. It is very easy to understand. Control mechanism is already there. Similar to, similar to the body, there are other layers. And there are control mechanisms there. So it is already doing its job naturally. However, due to some afflictions, it can go out of control. It can do one activity too much. It's possible. For example, somebody says something to you or you fail in something. Let us say you fail in your school exam or college exam, interview, and it produces sadness, which is very normal, which is very natural. It should be there. You fail now, sadness must be there. But in some cases, it goes on beyond 2-3 days, then goes into depression, then the fellow commits suicide, so on. That is called affliction, unhealthy mind. And there you need control. Now who can establish the control there? There is nobody, nobody. Now the training must come and the training that trains the mind to control these things. In order to control, first thing is you must be able to identify that it is out of control. There is an affliction. It is doing too much of one thing. Smoking one cigarette, okay. But it is smoking four packets per day. Something is wrong, isn't it? Drinking one glass of wine per day, okay. Or every week also. So it is always drinking <laughs> the system, the body-mind system. Always drunk, addict. Something is wrong. So if it goes beyond the limits, some training must be given to fix it. That training will be called purification. Something is wrong there, now you need to purify it. Or you can also say therapy or treatment. Wherever you are, we call it purification. Now, how to do the purification? First, there must be recognition that something is wrong in this thing. Many people they don't have this, this much awareness. The light is almost zero there. They cannot even detect that there is a problem. Somebody comes and tells them there is problem. Or when they fall sick, their life is disturbed, then only they recognize that I need to do something. And then they don't know what to do actually. In the society, nobody knows what to do. Yes, they can treat a little bit of disease in the body, a little bit in the mind, but there are many layers in the mind. So nobody knows all these things. So they come to the Guru, then the Guru in, installs a program there which can control the mind. The mind controls itself using that instruction of the Guru. The instruction is always like this, do this, don't do this. And you must remember, follow the instruction. And how will you remember? How? And there must be sufficient intelligence there. And there must be sufficient awareness there. By awareness, I don't necessarily mean the awareness of what you are. If it is there, if self-realization is there, then obviously the self-correction will happen automatically. But even if it is not there, at least there must be some recognition, awareness of the body and what is going on in the mind. Even if you don't know what is mind, even if you don't know that I am not the mind, just assume that I am the mind, something is wrong with me and then follow the instructions. So there is the control me method and what is the method actually? 
depends on case to case, person to person, time to time. So it is not written in any book and there is no manual of fixing somebody. It is always the guru and student. The guru listens to the student, observes the student and then prescribes purification method. So usually we do the knowledge transfer first. First knowledge is given. If the intellect is working, the knowledge is absorbed. Awareness arrives of what is going on, you know. Simply knowing that I am not the mind gives you enormous control on it. Why can't people control their behavior, their mind? Because they still think I am that. I am this thinking machine. I am this pile of emotions. And some people, they are even lower. They think I am the body. So depending on the status of the student, the discipline or the uh, the medicine or the solution is given. That is why I keep saying, you know, express. Tell me what do you want. Tell me how do you feel. Tell me what is going on in your mind. I'll come to know anyway, but simply say, talking gives away the software, the source code of the mind is given away if you simply talk. Sometimes, you know, some gurus are very big experts. They can see the face and tell. <laughs> they can see a photo and tell. And people like me, they need to do research first. I spend almost six months or one year with the person to know the person. But sometimes one or two sentences are enough. There are some people who can masquerade very easily because our society is based on a fake person, fake persona. What people are inside, they never show it outside. And that's what they do in front of the guru also. Now that makes the job of the guru very difficult. Never hide anything from three people, the doctor, the lawyer and the guru. Their job becomes very difficult. They will prescribe something wrong. So if you want to fix the mind, which means control the mind, then you must open up in front of the guru. Then the guru will check you, check the causal body. And, you know, we go beyond the psychiatrist and all this people. So we, we employ the non-physical means sometimes, the intention and so on, as you know. Plus we give the practical advice also. And uh, the guru will never do it to any random person. If the Guru sees the possibility of spiritual progress, if the person is already on the path, then only we take this kind of risk because it's a risky thing to manipulate somebody's mind is risky. The student must be on the path already, must be making efforts to know, must be gaining knowledge, must be the awareness must be increasing and then there is some point in doing the work on that person. If you meet me, oh, I have this problem, please fix it. I don't even know <laughs> who you are, where, what to fix, where to start. And then the general advice is given. Something like this, you are the experiencer, be in the knowledge, be in awareness. Something like this is given. The guru talk, standard spiritual talk. And obviously nobody likes it. Nobody practices it. Nobody gets takes the instructions. Because the background is lacking, knowledge is lacking. So what do I say? Okay, you came to me, <laughs> now start following the instructions. This is the program, this is the course, these are the videos, absorb them. Stay with me for six months at least. And usually what do I see? Simply joining this group, simply listening to satsang, simply being in the spiritual environment, the mind self-corrects. Oh, I was so stupid. I did this and I did that. This, These thoughts will be in your mind. That means correction is happening. Purification is happening. There will be aversion to the things that you are addicted to. There will be aversion, not aversion. It will be detachment with people you are dependent on. You think these people give you happiness. They give nothing actually. They waste your time. So that is also purification. So the whole series of purification is there. If Ajay is interested, Go and listen to the series on purification first. Those who are impatient, those who don't want to go through the program, don't want to follow my instructions. There are mechanical methods to purify. But simply being in knowledge does the job. It may take some time, but the purification happens as soon as you come to know your true nature. Sometimes it is so fast, it is amazing. In one week, the person is transformed completely. Otherwise, it takes at least few months, few years. 
in some cases very odd cases it takes few lifetimes because the past impressions are too strong too strong no and sometimes the student says no i'm perfectly okay i won't change no 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 do this you know don't do this no i am i'm perfectly okay i am intelligent i know what i'm doing those these cases they take a few lifetimes so in summary the mind is controlling itself due to ignorance bad impressions bad sanskars ku sanskars it goes out of control and then it must be brought back in control that is possible only by approaching a guru following the instructions disciplining and knowledge awareness these are the keywords